So this other planet that you've refined your data on, would, would it have liquid water on the surface? Yes. Uh, this is the most probable interpretation of the data that this because it's difficult to believe it will be only rocky because we cannot have so much material of rocky material at such a distance of a low mass planet so so very probably it's a, it's an icy planet but relatively close to the star so at the surface we should have some big ocean so maybe it's a, the first candidate to a new class of planet called ocean planet. Are you astonished about how far we've come in 10 years? I mean, I think it was about uh, the late 90s, wasn't it, when we first discovered an exoplanet. In the 10 years since then, are, are you amazed uh, uh, by what we've been able to do? When we have discovered with Didier Kilo the, the first extrasolar planet, it's uh, with the mass close to uh, Jupiter type. It... Uh, it was already a very big surprise. And evidently, we have ne never anticipated what will happen later. So today, we have more than 300 planets discovered, and we have improved by a factor of about 100, the sensitiv sensitivity of our instrumentation. You have a lot of spacecraft, new space mission design, and you have a huge number of colleagues working in that field. It's really a new field of astronomy.